Let's solve this inverse Laplace transform in two minutes. Looking at a standard table of transforms, nothing really resembles the form we have. So let's decompose it into partial fractions. We have a repeated linear root in the denominator, so the decomposition will be a over s minus 3 plus b over the square of s minus 3. Let's now clear the denominators by multiplying throughout by the square of s minus 3. We'll expand the pair of brackets, and comparing coefficients, we see that a must be 2 and b must be 11. Now that we have a and b, we'll consider the inverse Laplace of the sum of those two fractions instead of dealing with the original ambiguous expression. The Laplace transform and its inverse are linear, so we can consider those fractions one at a time. The first of these has an immediate result in the table, that's 2 times e to the 3t. The second one, though, it's reminiscent of t to the power of 1, because t will give us s squared in the denominator. If we take the 11 outside, again, linearity, 1 over s squared would have an inverse Laplace of just t. But we have a shift in the s domain, a shift of three units. The first translation theorem tells us that this shift corresponds to a multiplication by an exponential in time. In our case, a is equal to 3. So we'll account for this shift by a multiplication in time by e to the 3t. So the inverse Laplace will work out to be 11t e to the 3t. And that's the final answer.